Last month, two police officers sued the Buffalo Police Department over a racist rant they say their captain unleashed back in May. The accused captain, Amber Beyer, was suspended after investigative post broke the story. Two months later, Beyer is still suspended, but with pay. The captain is collecting her salary to sit at home. But the department has ordered the two officers who complained, Caitlin Bolden and Brandon Hawkins, to return to work. Bolden and Hawkins tell us they're not ready to do that. To be very honest, um, I'm terrified to go back to work because there are people that think like her. There are people that support her and it's been made very clear. You know, you, we don't know who is on our side or not. Bolden has been on the force for six years, Hawkins for 15. Both work for the behavioral health team which sends mental health professionals along with officers to help people in the throes of a mental health crisis. Beyer was their commanding officer. You want us to come back to work and be the same productive, productive officers that we were before? How is that possible? When you still have someone who offended us and talked to us like we don't matter, still employed. Hawkins, Bolden, and a third plaintiff, mental health clinician Erica Seymour, say Beyer went on a racist rant last May in the team's office at police headquarters downtown. Bolden and another officer were discussing a video that showed two white Kansas City police officers pulling over a black motorist for no apparent reason. Except the motorist turned out to be a Kansas City cop too, a detective, and the video went viral as a textbook case of racial profiling. But Beyer didn't see it that way. The plaintiffs say Beyer, who is Hispanic, responded to the video by saying whites were sometimes justified in their racism against blacks, and blacks were obliged to try to understand that. Then that's it, where it kind of just started to snowball. You know, if she sees a black man in her neighborhood, she'd be suspicious because there's no black people there, black officers, cheat on their wives. I'm not sure what relevance that was to the conversation, period. But she said every black officer she knows has cheated on their significant other. White officers get PTSD from working on the east side because of all the violent crime. Black people commit more violent crime. And it's just like, well, tell me how you really feel. Several officers complained about Byers' rant to a supervisor. Internal Affairs opened an investigation. Byers started lashing out at the officers who blew her in pressuring them to drop the matter, to get over it. She said, well, Erica, I don't understand why you're upset. I have colored people in my family. And I said, oh, okay. Um, and I just kind of walked away. Byer warned them the investigation would go nowhere. And she actually said that to me in May, that, oh, I, like, like, oh I'm not worried about the investigation, that, that nothing's going to happen. Sources say the internal affairs investigation into the May incident ended last August with no apparent punishment for Bayer. In September, Bayer doubled down, according to the lawsuit, reading aloud to the team a social media post that featured multiple uses of the N-word, stressing the racial slur each time she came to it. I even asked her, can you say N-word instead? Censor yourself. Have some, have some sense. You know, and she turns around and looks at me and chuckles. Oh, I'm just reading the email while leaning on my desk, by the way. That was enough for Seymour, who complained to her superiors at Endeavor Health. The suggestion was made, well, maybe we take you out of BHD. Like, I did something wrong um, because I felt uncomfortable with Captain Byer's statements. Seymour did not return. She was recently told that her position at Endeavor was being cut. Last week, Bolden and Hawkins were ordered back to active duty, but not with the behavioral health team. Instead, they'd work in the office of Commissioner Joseph Grimaglia. That doesn't work for the two officers either. Okay, he's the one who ignored us for seven months. We did everything we were supposed to do right. We, we followed the chain of command. We, we, we don't do nothing wrong on the street. We don't, we don't make no noise as far as that is concerned. And it's like, when we come to you with a problem, you ignore us because it's going to make you look bad. Bolden and Hawkins said other black officers have come to them with similar stories, but they're not willing to go public because they see what's happening to her and Hawkins. The Buffalo Police Department, they don't create a, a safe space for anyone to come forward. And even after this, like, they know what's going on. 
Why would anyone else want to come forward? Who wants to deal with this? Bayer was suspended and another internal affairs probe opened after Investigative Post broke the story two months ago. We asked the department spokesman, Mike DeGeorge, for an update on the inquiries into the allegations against Bayer. What were the results of these inquiries? What discipline, if any, did the commissioner hand down? But DeGeorge refused to respond to our questions. For Channel 2 News, I'm Jeff Kelly with Investigative Post.